Morning everybody. It's now... What day is it, Aiden? Huh? What day is it? It is... Monday? Monday. Yeah, it's Monday. Monday. Right. Just goes to show... Just goes to show what we like in this house. I asked my son what day it is and uh, he, he asked Siri. So, Monday the 10th of August. About to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know right so i'm just putting a putting a load of washing on i've got to take mine and the wife's wedding rings into thing because i've got to get mine just got loads of scratches and I know rings get scratched but I just want to get them polished out. I've had it polished once, twice before. I'll probably leave it eventually but and then a uh, wedding ring and engagement ring are dipped and polished. So I've got to do that today. I've done a free pick up last night. A Samsung. Uh, it's a DVD player. DVD player with a HDD in it, hard disk drive. Um, got that for nothing, and they go for between 50 and 140. I don't know why there's such a big, big gap in between the prices. Um, there was one that went for, I think it was something like 189, um, and that was refurbished. This one's in really good nick, so. I don't know what to start at really. I just want to get them move, get stuff moving now. I'm going to go up to the unit because I want to. Um, I'm going to put a couple of bits on Facebook. I've got that big table that someone gave me, the big farmhouse table, the chairs, which is a beautiful table in good nick. It's probably cost them, I would say, five or six hundred quid. So I'd like to get 100, 150 quid for it. So I want to do that. I want to get that on, I want to get some more stuff out of there on because I need to move some stuff to find some stuff. So we're going to be running, doing a bit of running about today. But I feel a lot better than I did last week. So I've, I actually feel now, after a few days of struggling with the heat and, and mindset, um, I feel more like I just want to crack on now. I just want to get stuff done which is good, because that's the name of the game. So, um, I've still got to go up to my brothers at some stage and collect these bits for him. He's decided now he did, does want them. So I've got to do that. Um, I've got some parceling to do. And uh, yeah, just want to list. So, so I'm going to list that Samsung blue uh, DVD thing. I found a Blu-ray player that I got down there, I didn't even realise I had. Um, I've got some other electronics. I was going to keep the VHS DVD player, LG one. I think it's a DV1000. I was going to keep it, but I don't know, I might shift that now as well. Um, might see if I can get to a charity shop along the way. But we're going to try and pack a lot into today because I just, I just need to catch up and get stuff done. So yeah. Feeling much more positive. The head's much better. It's clicked. It's clicked into gear now, and it just wants to go full steam ahead. So, yeah, I'm going to crack on today, and I'll speak to you in a bit. All right, guys. So today's going nice and easy. So I've got one of those. All oh, the bands broke on that. Doesn't matter. A lead for the Xbox uh, 360 wireless controller. Got this DVD sold. It's only gone for about 3.99 or something. One of these has gone, can't remember what price, I'll tell you all the prices later, I know the lead's 6 99 I think this was 7 quid. this one, it was up for 8 99 I'd give someone an offer of 7 99 and they said 7 quid. so I just accepted it just to get rid of one. I've got a few screen, screen covers there, look. So they were easy to find, so that's what I've got to post so far, I've got to collect the... Um, 
into the Badlands bits to send. So I've got this Blu-ray player here I might put on. I've got a bag of cameras somewhere. I think it's, the, it's here somewhere. I think it might be that one. But that camera goes with it, so I might do the bag of cameras. I've got these running shoes, these A6 running shoes. Then £100 brand new. Played a fiver for them, and they got special foot balance insoles. So they're quite good. They might do some on a turn. I've still got the kickers shoes. I've got the Wii with all the Zumba and the fit board and all that that I paid 40 quid for. I think I made a mistake, but I've got a little DVB free set. I've got loads of these little free free view things. I've got the I think I don't think I've put that on that the Ainsley. It's a nice little um collectible thing. I've got a paper, old newspaper, 1937, Crown of George, King George the Sixth. Uh, I've got some Hornby stuff there. I've got a bag of collectible spoon, tiny little spoons there, and I've got another load here, look. One of them's Huckleberry Hound, that one. So I'll probably get a tenner for that one. So, I still don't know about my boom box. I quite like my boom box, and the DVD VHS there, the LG one. I don't really want to sell it, because I want to have something that I can play DVDs, VHS, but... Then I've got a 3D Blu-ray player, so do I need a DVD player on the VHS? Should I just keep a VHS? I don't know, because that one looks nicer. But, at the end of the day, it's money, it's got to go. I mean, look, I've got stuff everywhere, it's just it's absolutely bonkers. I still like my sarcophagus, someone asked me about that. But, I need to get it cleared in here so that I can get it tidied up, get the bar built. I think I'm building the bar there. Um, so it's all going to be nice and built in. Um, I've got the broomstick that's going up to J Flipping Sloth this week. I couldn't make it up there to see him Sunday because my brother wasn't uh, wasn't going to buy the bits that I needed the van for. Tanker's Duracell bunny's not getting sold. That's for my my sort of filming set, my prop display and all that. I've got arrows over there that I bought years ago different films so yeah we've got to get it sorted haven't we haven't we Mr Pirates of the Caribbean so yeah I've got that on I can probably go out of storage actually bowling pins are on they can probably go out of storage some of those the plates and that are on they can go out of storage so I might stick some of this in the car when I come back before I go to the storage get rid of some more stuff that's what I need Lovely cup of coffee. Okay everybody, so I'm walking through Russington, I've just been, um, my wife don't watch my videos anyway, so I've just been and bought an anniversary present, because um, it's our anniversary Wednesday, I don't know if I've already said on here Thursday, I did tell people it was Thursday, but yeah. Wednesday's the 12th, yeah, so yeah, so I've just been and bought a Prezi, I've got to go and get a card and that yet, and maybe sort something else out, I don't know. I'm just going to go in my mate's sweet shop and see him. So I'll speak to you in a bit. I just bought, well, this was quite a cool t shirt. It's not any decent make or anything, but it's never been worn. It's quite a cool t shirt. Size medium, two quid. So I thought that was quite cool from the charity. I was trying to film what I was buying in there, but it was just too hot and I couldn't film and do it. Right, so these don't look like they've, they've still got a little little bit of thing where they've had the tag pulled off. I mean, I don't know. But they're Abercromb Abercrombie Fitch, which I think is, well, is it, I know it's a good make. When they were three quid. 34, waist 34 long. And there's 
nothing wrong with them at all. Obviously now they steam all their clothes, so they're going to be clean and all good. Pockets look okay inside. Yeah, so they look alright for three quid. Bit of Abercrombie and Fitch. And I bought a pair of boots. Oh, I'm getting out. I only bought them because people, some people like these with the weird bits on them. And they've not got much tread used on them. And they're still, they even got the thing on them. The label, size 6, River Island. So, and they don't look like they've got any wear inside them. And they were 4 quid. So I thought they were alright to take the risk on for 4 quid. Okay everyone, I just went down to the summer house where I work. I've got my laptop and everything and it's like an oven. I don't feel like I can do any listings till it cools down a bit later. But I've had the aircon thing going for forever. Look, come on little poor little boy, look. I'm just doing him in. Oh, poor little boy. Look, the other two are up there, look. One up on top of the cushions, Rexy. And there he was there, look. And they're all in front of that lovely cold fan. Poor old Fred's knocked out because he's had me up in the night. So, yeah. The, the beach looks absolutely beautiful today. There's boats and yachts and all sorts going on down there. Loads of people down there, it's absolutely heaving. I was wondering where it just, I've got, I bought them wetsuits, didn't I? Uh, yeah, yeah, you've just seen that in one of the videos, I bought the wetsuits, I haven't put them on yet. I was thinking about whacking one of them on and jumping down there for a bit. But, I've got to go and pick this furniture up for my brother tomorrow, that's back on. So I've got to go and do that and uh, sort out some other bits, CJ, flipping sloth, drop off the broom, stick to him and get back and then obviously you saw earlier I was buying my wife a present for her anniversary which is Wednesday so she's working Wednesday during the day so I'll be able to do some stuff to video during the day, some eBaying and maybe some charity shop stuff and then um, yeah, and then in the evening, probably go out for a meal or something. So, I've got all that to do. I need to borrow the Into the Badlands DVDs off my brother so that I can watch it and see what it's all about. But, um, yeah, I, might, I don't know, I might, I might list a couple of bits in here. Maybe, live, maybe get a hanger and lift, because uh, I've got some shirts now upstairs that I bought about eight eight dress shirts so I might do them and that anime t-shirt I've got some football shirts might put them boots on and the jeans and that I've got another couple of pairs of nice jeans actually they're frayed at the backs but the house I picked it up from was massive and they're um, I think they're diesel jeans I know they are a designer they're, they're nice jeans I think I paid about four quid a pair, two pairs of those. So plenty I can be getting on with, it's just so hot. It's just sucking the life out of me now. I was all ready to go this morning. And now it's it's got to be 35, I reckon down here, 36. It's just roasting. So, yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'll speak to you in a bit. Oh, I've got to go to the unit as well, because I've sold... Um, the little telly that, the Philips telly that I showed you that I picked up um, when I was up at my brother's place, there was a little telly outside and it had a little sign on it, a little handwritten bit of paper on it, taped to it saying, I work, take me, I'm free. So I took it, uh, cost me, so it's cost me nothing. And uh, it was up for, I think, 
I think originally I put it up for something silly like 59.95 just to see what, and then last night I dropped it down to 49.95 someone was watching it today so I sent them an offer for 44.95 they sent me one back for 35 there was no way I was doing that so I sent them back one for 40 and they accepted so 40 plus postage plus shipping so that's quite good that's what I think so it's really good so yeah I've got that to do as well I've got that to grab from the unit that's going to be like an oven so yeah so I want to try and get that table and chairs out and get photos of that done so that I can either get it on marketplace or eBay or both so yeah we'll see how we get on with that I'll speak to you in a bit alright so at the moment we're listing shirts it's quite a nice two stoned brand so listed this one this is a nice one as well it's never been worn TM Lewin seems like quite a nice shirt so I've put that on it I started at a 9.95 don't it's ever it's never been worn so got loads more to do Another six or seven and a load of t-shirts. Right everyone, so today I've listed another A10 screen cover shirts 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 and shirts some football shirts an anime shirt team GB and team G Paralympics shirts um, I was going to put some more on but I'm all shirted out so it's now half seven I need to pop to the unit anyway to pick a telly up that's sold and then I'll list some more bits later but at least I've done some so I haven't been out in the, the heat today it's been about 35 or more degrees down here today I drove past the beach everyone was out looked lovely I didn't get tempted and go down I, I went to the charity shops and um, done a few, bit, a few listings so yep Alright bit everybody. Alright it is twenty-five past eleven at night. Not during the day. So it's been a hot all day today. On this Monday, I've got to get the van in the morning and go and pick up this furniture run, that's my brother's. Go and meet Jay flipping sloth, drop his Nimbus Harry Potter broomstick off to him and if depending on the time I might go and uh, do a charity shop with him but we'll see don't know what time I'm going to have just been looking through some of this china and pots and god knows what else um, some of it's willow wear this stuff there's a teapot and Which is made by Swan. So, Swan Willow. They definitely use that for tea. Look at that. That's a bit skanky. But, um, it's got the sugar, sugar bowl in there milk jug with it as well isn't it? obviously they're not as bad they're quite nice little things that set should go for about 20 quid I think and then I've got this set which is another one it's got the milk jug and the uh, that's the teapot. You've got a milk jug and a 
sugar bolt. So I reckon if that willow ware gets 20 quid, that's all my money back. Got this vase in there, which is quite a nice vase. Got this in there, and I'm sure it was supposed to have had a lid. It hasn't now. So there's loads of china bits, and then there's loads of different stuff in the, the bottom one. There's different stuff again. <laughs> What's that called? Berry Linden? Never heard of it. Berry Linden. I'll have a look at that in a minute. See what that's worth, but take like time's getting on. I was going to get the... Um, I was going to get the the table thing out, the chairs and the wooden top and put them on Marketplace and eBay but it's too late and too hot to faff about that, it's still really hot I've got to be up early to go and get this van in the morning and go and get the stuff and then get up to Surrey and then oh, there it goes, the lights Let's put my light on. There you go. Good job I'm not scared of the dark, innit? So, yeah. Got to get, um, not so, I've got to get all the, get some racks and that put up for him, but he's. This is what I've picked up to. This I'll sell this today. Phillips telly, all working, it's in good nick. Really good little CRT TV. I sold that today, that's the one I, when I've moved my brother into his flat. I, um, it was outside the house. I think I've already said it on the video anyway. A little handwritten bit of paper on it saying I, I work, take me on free. So I took it and so I sold it for 40 quid so I've got to go up to my brothers tomorrow so I'll send that on Wednesday um, yeah just got to find a box for it but uh, yeah so I'm just up there just having a quick sort out so I was going to get the table out and that I haven't even checked the telly on top I know it's going to be a good one because so ladies and the guys really nice people in there just sold their house to move up to Scotland and the furniture they've got in there which they're trying to get rid of is, is really expensive so I reckon a table and all that was about probably four or five hundred quid and they gave it to me so I need to start shifting some of this um, yeah so under the Laurel and Hardy clock there there's all the crates of DVDs so next week I'm probably going to um, just put them on marketplace at 20 quid a crate or something and see if I can get rid of them. Just fill up a crate and just do them for 20 quid a crate. So that'll get rid of them. Get some of this china and that on. So it's been clothing today so I've got some clothing and that on. I haven't done loads. But um yeah, get some of these little bits and pieces and that on and get rid of some of these which were these were all props in um, into the Badlands but they're really old records I suppose for different eras and stuff but a load of these are like I mean look at the look at the wrappers on them Columbia magnificent in D minor some of these are his master's voice ones. There you go. His master's voice. A lot of them are that. But they were actually used as film props in Into the Badlands. So someone that likes vinyl and is into their films. Or, well, it wasn't a film, was it? It was a TV program. But I've got one, two, three, four. Five, six, sort it out in a minute, yeah, six, no, seven, seven boxes full of old records. There you go, look. 
They're all in good nick. That's really old vinyl. So yeah, it is, what's time now? So it's nearly 25 to 12 now, so I'm going to lock up and go, I think. Alright guys, I just got back in the car, looks like it's been spitting a little bit. So I'm going to have to go home and and uh, put, the, put the garden table umbrella away and stuff. Alright, 11.53, it's not quite 11.53 I think, because I um, always have my watch a bit, no it's 11.46, I always have it a bit faster on there, so that I'm never late, so yeah, alright, I'll see you when I get back home. Alright guys, I'm back home, it's much later. Um, I think it's gone one o'clock now. And um, I bought the telly back that I picked up from the unit and then come back, got back to the house and the phone beeped. And the guy is saying that he um, he was he bought the telly because he was going for his mum's loft. And um, he found his old Xbox but couldn't find the old telly that he used to play it on. So, he said he bought my one. Well, not to turn it off anyway. So, then he's saying he looked, he's bought my one and then he's gone back up there and looked further into the loft and found the one that he used to have. So, I think he's just a messer. He's got zero feedback. Um, he paid for it. But said he wanted to cancel it. And I was a bit worried when I saw the zero feedback. I thought, it's got to be a messer. So, it looks like I was right, he is a messer. And uh, yeah, so I've cancelled it, I can't be, I can't even be bothered with it, to be honest. It's a good little thing, it'll go. So, yeah, so that was not a great end to the day, but I can't be doing with messes, so I just cancelled it and blocked him from bidding again. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to try and get some sleep now, so I've got to be up early to go and pick the van up. To then go and pick the furniture up, to then go up to my brother's. So I've got a bit of running about to do tomorrow, so I'll get that filmed. So yeah, so if you like the video, give it a big thumbs up. Got a lot more done today than we have done in the last few days. If you're not subscribed, consider subscribing. If you are subscribed, thank you very much as always. And if you are subscribed, make sure you hit the notification bell so you know whenever I'm uploading or if I'm going live. And that's it guys, I'm absolutely knackered and I will speak to you tomorrow. Night. Night's life. Subscribe to it. He's a lovely lad. They're a lovely family. It's a lovely life and he's a lovely man. Subscribe to him.